here in Portugal, the heat has started to rise and I feel like this immediately ignites my fire within. Even though I'm not used to these temperatures, there is something about summer, the long hours of sun, the smell of fresh cut grass and the crickets at night, which translates into more action and energy in my life. After a long winter of slowing down, taking it day by day, I now feel ready to go after all those things I had on my wish list. A lot is happening in our life at the moment. This week, with Pepe, my boyfriend, we shared on Instagram how our lifelong dream is manifesting. We are putting the first baby steps towards building our own self-sufficient farm off-grid in the north of Spain. A lifelong dream for both of us, and we are super excited to share this journey with you. Not only are we dreaming of a house, we also want a place where we can share all this magic with you. A creative community for women to be inspired, connect with fellow sisters and heal. I will be sharing our journey with you in my next videos. How we are doing it, with whom and what our future plans are. So all good things are happening, but I tend to overwhelm myself with emotion. I can't stop thinking about it and my own mind drives me crazy. Do you also relate to this feeling? I can be busy with projects that passionate me 24 hours, seven days a week, but after a few days like these, I can't help but feel exhausted. Then is when art is my savior. There is something about just putting your full attention on the paper in front of you, flowing with the brush and letting time pass by without a care. It reminds me of when I was a child and I could be playing for hours with my dolls without any thought of which day it was, if I had to pay the bills or send a confirmation email to a colleague. Creativity has always provided me with a feeling of safety, longing and vulnerability that I had trouble finding elsewhere. It lets me become soft again and in a world so harsh and rigid, I flow and I can go back to my essence. Without even realizing, art has become my intuitive healing power. Let me know about your relationship with creativity in the comments. This is the best option for me right now to fall back into the arms of trust and ease. Being outside would be my number one choice, but right now, if it's not at the beach, it's becoming pretty difficult. Why is it that when we don't have something, we want it the most? And when we have it in front of us, we don't seem to appreciate it enough. Today, I'm grateful for the sun that gives me energy to do so much. I am grateful for having the ocean near to take a dip. And I'm grateful for your presence today. Thank you for watching. I wish you a lovely and inspiring day. If you enjoyed this video, you can find more of my content on Instagram or by subscribing to my newsletter. You can find all the information below.